I know I did a haul like two or three videos ago, but in that haul I asked if you guys wanted to see a homeware haul. Side note, how many times am I gonna say the word haul in this intro? So this is a homeware haul. I have such a random mix of stuff to show you guys, but I think I'm gonna show you what I picked up from Etsy first. Etsy have such cute things, oh my gosh, I could spend days on Etsy, literally days, maybe even months. And it's this paper calendar and every month has a different animal on it, so January was a polar bear, February is a fox. I have this huge bookshelf as you can see, oh, boop, they all fell, they all fell. It's okay, they're still in order. I've had to buy quite a few things to put on this bookshelf just to make it a bit more like homely. So this is one of the things I have on my bookshelf now. I picked up a few things from Anthropology. They always have really cute like decorative homey things. I picked up two of these like painted pots and they look really pretty just like either on like a side table or on my bookshelf where I have them behind me. But then you take off the lid and they're candles. I thought that was so cute. And then once you're finished like burning the candle, you can obviously put whatever you want in there, really. They smell so good. I haven't burnt this one yet. This one's quite minty. But I've started this one. And it's, oh, it's so good. It's really, really fruity. It really reminds me of like Bath and Body Works candles. I thought they'd be more like decorative candles. But they actually sent up the room really nicely. You guys will have seen this guy if you watch my vlogs. By the way, if you don't watch my vlogs, they go up every Wednesday and I do like weekly vlogs and sometimes it's full day vlogs so I'll leave a playlist of all my vlogs <laughs> I'm gonna, many times I'm gonna say the word vlog in the information box below but you guys will definitely recognize this little guy if you watch my vlogs it's this little mini dash hound and he's actually a letter holder so I have this on my bookshelf and it has like some of the letters you guys give me and then I also print out some illustrations that um, I've been tagged in on Instagram and then I have that on my shelf got a couple of bowls and this first one is from Oliver Bonas it's a little copper bowl I just love the like half wood half copper feel I thought this was really beautiful it was kind of like an impulse purchase and then I was like, what am I even gonna put in this? Cause it's wooden, so you couldn't put anything watery in it. You probably could just have like fruit or something, I don't know, small. So let me know if you think of a use for this. I think I'll definitely have like either sweets, <laughs> like wrapped sweets or something in here, I don't know. Obviously the first thing that comes to my mind is something sugary. And then I also had a Selfridges voucher. So I got this bowl from Tom Dixon. <gasps> Look at this guys, isn't this just the most like gorgeous bowl you've ever seen? I have it on a little coffee table and it just looks so, so beautiful. I'm just so in love with this, I don't even know where to begin. I also picked up a couple of frames and I was kind of like dilly-dallying about frames. I bought one from Oliver Bonas and I thought the kind of square shape was really cute, mainly because that's like any Instagram pictures I have, I can put in there and I don't need to think about like making them bigger or I don't know. So <laughs> I actually just like this square because it's the same square as Instagram. So when I print my Instagram pictures, they fit right in there. First world Insta addict problems. But I also got some of these frames Frames. These are from XL Bloom. I just found them online. It doesn't even have like a decorative frame or anything. It's just pure glass. And I just love how it looks like the picture's just like hanging out, chilling by itself. And you can have it like this way or this way. And no one really knows. Up to you. Oh my god, okay. This is so random. One of my friends bought me this because she knows I love iced tea. Like in the summer, I'm addicted to iced tea. And this is like a bike, like an actual like live, live, not live, but like driving Daisy. <laughs> I'd say driving Miss Daisy. Did anyone know? Yeah, no, never mind. But it's made out of iced tea like packaging, which I just think is so, so cool. This just boggles the mind because imagine actually making something like this. I had a Kate Spade gift voucher for Christmas and I saw this beautiful tray and I, I just think it's just, oh, I fell in love with it. Can you tell? It's white and then has this gorgeous gold frame and then has like little black and gold keys and also glasses as well on it. I saw this in Selfridges and I thought it was really clever. It's by a brand called Sia, I think it was called. And it's basically an orchid. It's just like a little plant, but hey, guess what? Would I be doing this if the plant was real? No, <laughs> cause this is fake. I don't know if you can actually tell. I couldn't really tell, especially when it's like just chilling somewhere. You can't really tell that it's fake except when you touch it obviously but I think it's just really nice just to constantly have a little plant in your house and this is obviously a very low maintenance plant. Also for my bookshelf I picked up these from Heels. I think it was either like Heels or Habitat. I'm not sure I always get the two confused. Oh I just had a weird echo like speaking in the jar. Anyway so got these two I thought they looked really cute together. Nice to have like on a bookshelf or just like 
decorative pieces. I was looking for things to fill up my bookshelf and I fell in love with this. I thought it was like really special, it was really cute. I always love having like cutesy messages around. This isn't really a message, I just think it like brings the positive vibes. It is this love frame and it's made out of playing cards. It's just like really simple, really classic. Just really like having like messages of happiness around. I also got this frame which I haven't actually filled yet. This is from Oliver Bonas as well. But just look at the outside of that. I just loved it. I loved the blue. I need to get like an 8 by 10 It's quite a big frame. You can see that compared to my face. It's like huge. But I just thought it was so, so beautiful. I want to put it on like a countertop or something. This is from one of my friends, Claire, for Christmas. And I thought it was so cute. I had to share it with you guys. You notice I have a huge sweet tooth. It says, Amelia's treat tin. And then in small print, it says, hands off Hannah. Hannah's my sister, by the way. And she also has a massive sweet tooth. It's a really huge, huge tin. As you can see, bigger than my... I'm using my face for comparison a lot. But yeah, it's bigger than my face. And then she also got me this cake cut in. It says, happiness is a piece of cake. She told me she bought this on Not On The High Street and you can get them all like customized and everything so I'll leave a link to Not On The High Street below because it's a really good website if you want to like customize some gifts. Another couple of things I bought from Etsy, I bought some like letter, I was about to do it the wrong way around. I was kind of searching Etsy for ones that I really liked and I could like customize the color of them but I ordered them in like a kind of muted pink color and they came and they were actually red. I do really like the color now that they arrived but I would have preferred the color that I thought the color was if that makes sense. I'll leave a name of the color below just so you guys can have a reference of color because I thought it would have been like a more of a like purpley pink shade and they came and they were actually like bright red. Lastly from Zara I bought this massive like boxy thing. I don't know, I have one to keep all my hair tools in and it's more round, but this one I thought would be really good for like wires and that kind of stuff. I love, love, love these baskets. They're really easy to like roam around in. They're easy to like hide under the bed <laughs> when stuff looks a bit ugly. I just think it's really pretty and simple. So that's everything I've picked up homeware wise in the past couple of months. Right now, as always, in my new feeling spendy hauls, you guys are seeing on the screen some of your recent feeling spendy purchases you always send me your hashtag feeling spendy things on Twitter and Instagram and I screenshot them I stare at them I wonder what you're all buying so keep them coming guys because I love 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 seeing them as I mentioned I will leave a playlist of my weekly vlogs in the information box below and I will see you guys on Wednesday for a new vlog but in case you want a bit more of me until then you can always follow me on Twitter I have Instagram, I have Snapchat, like there is no escaping me on the internet so I'll leave all my social media links in the information box below. I hope you guys, that was just Duke snorting, did you hear that? I hope you didn't hear that because he does these weird snorts and he's like <laughs> yeah. Oh my god what was that? That was even worse than his. Anyway, as I was saying, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you on Wednesday for a new vlog. Bye! All over my life. <laughs> I've got the roller in and I'm in a car around London. Sorry, I'm just talking to my camera, just ignore me. <laughs> oh, yeah, just driving around London in my roller because YOLO! Anyway, just went to Joe Malone with that. I'm using my Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder on a fan brush just down the center, mainly around my nose because that's where I get the most shiny. I'm gonna do two lip looks for this video. The first one is the one you guys saw on Instagram and all requested, and it's more of a nudie color. For that, I use my Rimmel Lip Liner in 